Setting up a solar system has six different components. The solar panel mounting, wiring, a voltage meter, a solar charge controller, and the battery. A voltage meter is to check solar voltage and the state of your battery. A solar charge controller is to protect your batteries. When mounting, it is important to find a location with optimal sunlight. Mounting can be assembled on a flat surface such as a roof of a home, an RV, or any other desirable location. In this case, the mounting is done by placing the mounting frame on the pole and tighten the allocated screws. Make sure the screws are secure. Place panel carefully on mount. Align brackets under panel to the mount and tighten. Now you can place the second panel and repeat the process. To install the wiring, move to the back of the solar panel. All electrical terminals are located in the black box. First, the cover must be removed. Pull wiring through allocated hole. Make sure to secure wiring. Loosen the positive terminal with a Phillips screwdriver and repeat with the negative terminal. Place positive wiring under loosened screw and tighten. Repeat process with the negative wiring. Now that the wiring is connected, it is important to test your connections with a voltmeter. The voltage tester is showing that the panel is giving out 14.5 volts. Now begin with wire installation of the second panel. Shown here is the wiring of the second panel, which is connected in parallel to the first panel. Place cover over electric box of the first panel. Place wiring which will lead to the solar charge controller. Secure the wiring. Place positive wiring onto second positive terminal. Repeat with second negative terminal. Seal the second panel. Now, both panels are electrically connected. Ideally, you want to tilt panels to a 20 degree angle. Now, we can connect wiring from second panel to solar charge controller. Place positive and negative wiring to charge controller array terminals. Here is what the completed charge controller terminal should look like. You may permanently mount your charge controller inside. Finally, you can attach connections to your battery. Attach negative wiring from solar charge controller to the negative battery terminal and continue with positive wiring to positive battery terminal. This is a completed solar system. Our charge controller shows us current as well as voltage readings.